honestly, I, I feel like I'm, I'm becoming a better grower in the last year. I'm really starting to dial things in, and I'm focusing mostly on really good genetics with great, great environment, man. What's your experience like? Like, what's your what's your tips if you're talking to a new grower? Even though we're kind of, I consider myself new until I got 30 years in, like Kyle Cushman, man. Like, what do you think are some of these tips for new new growers? So my favorite tip is just try. You know, like don't be afraid to try. I was so scared to try different things that, like, you know, it's not going to work. But, you know, that's the, the first way to succeed is to actually try, right? So just go out there and do it. It's such a good tip, you make tip, a mistake? Man. It's a good tip, man. try again. It, it's, like, it's like if I said, how do you do a bong rip? Well, some people would just do that. Or some people would hit it a lot longer, right? Like, it, it all depends with growing, too. Someone says... How much water do you give that? Well, I can't really tell you a definite answer. It depends on your humidity and your temperatures and when you water them last, what size pot, what's your plans for them? Like right, right. now, I didn't water these for four days because I really wanted to try to dry them out a bit because when I transplant, I really like the water and I want them all to be saturated at the same time so that I don't have any chances of overwatering or having gaps in my soil and so on and so forth. Like, does, is that how you think about it too? Do you always p- bring the whole process into the play? Absolutely, man. Like I was like before we started growing, I spent probably about a year on YouTube and different websites learning as much as I possibly could. You spoke of Kyle Cushman. I spent my lunch hours at work watching every single one of his YouTube videos. And I mean, it was just kind of a how do you grow? Well, okay, I'm going to learn. Let's figure this out. And it's just, you know, the more knowledge you bring to something, the more successful you're going to be. And the more times you try, the more successful you're going to be. Yeah, I just think, uh, I think sometimes, too, our community and some of these pro growers, I'm looking at some of you pro growers, some of these pro growers, or I think they're pro growers, can really harm a new grower. So be careful when a new grower asks you a question and they're growing in pro mix and you're growing in cocoa, not to pull them off their track and just give them those same tips. Keep trying, man. Keep figuring it out because it only really comes down to process and you kind of got to learn how to walk before you can run, right? Did you Absolutely. have some really big fuck-ups in the early days, like besides this vinegar issue? Um, you know, there was a couple times where I would definitely overwater. I mean, I was always constantly just like, let's give them some more water because it's so hot here. You know, I thought they needed it. And then you start to realize, no, I'm, I'm doing way too much. Okay, if I back off, they're even happier. So it's just kind of like a, you got to figure out your environment. And like you said, you know, everybody's environment's different. So I can try to give you tips to help lead you in the right direction, but I can't tell you the, you know, the answer every time. 100%, man. And just kind of gather them through it, let them know they got support, man. And yeah. when problems come up, there are fixes for the problems. But to get you from veg to harvest, you need to get there first before you even start worrying about issues, I really think. Yep. I don't even think people should really have any too many uh, extreme nutrients or too much on their plate. I honestly think they should just get from seed to harvest, smoke that weed, realize you're going to get high off it, even though it's fucking boof and it's it's not great weed. When in your process did you start banging it in and getting those good those good nuggets, man, and that great weed? How long did it take you? You know, our first grow, we did pretty good. Like I was actually quite surprised, and so were a lot of people that I met. You know, and I was just like, yeah, that was my first time. But my second time, not so good. I mean, I, I started trying to do too much. And that, like you said, that's what led to me doing, you know, worse. So I, I dialed it back again. And then I started going, okay, what if I just do this one extra thing? Oh, that got better. Okay, what if I add that? To, it got even better. Finally, about three years in, I think I'm really nailing it now every single time. It took me about three years, even with all the knowledge that I, I had, to really start getting to the point where, you know, this is fantastic every time. Yeah. Sometimes I think the knowledge is just too much for new growers, too. And sometimes we really kind of overgather too much knowledge, man. I mean, yes. you can watch a, a Mr. Grow It video with this scientist on there, and he's speaking so much knowledge, man, that all these words just jumble together, man. When I get questions in the inbox, I try to keep it as simple as possible, man. 
I try to call it soil, whether it's soil, cocoa, or whatever it is. I try to call it, simplize it and just tell them the water and do simple steps, man. Right. When, when you and your wife are growing, are you guys, like, ever have a grow-off? Have you ever done anything like that? I, you know what? We haven't. That would be fantastic. We should do that. I think you could, man, but that might that might cause divorce, too. I mean, <laughs> my wife becomes a better grower nah, than she'd me. Probably be, she'd probably beat me. <laughs> I, I think my wife would, too, man. My wife has so many house plants and such a big part of, like, gardening. Like, everything outside is her hands. Uh, every house plant in the house is her hands. So the, the gardening for me was kind of my own thing. Before you did the gardening, man, and you you were just doing the gaming, did you do any sort of gardening, man, or did you just become this natural I green thumb? I grew absolutely nothing. I mean, I helped my mom maybe with a flower when I was a kid or something, you know, like, hey, go out there and trim this rose bush because I don't want to prick myself. Okay, but I didn't care about plants at all. I mean, it wasn't even a thought. And then we started growing, and now I'm doing sunflowers. I'm going to start a vegetable garden you know with my wife we just want to start growing as much as we can because it's been fun i think it's just such a natural